Hello everyone, I am Prish Bhajan, your maths teacher. Welcome you all in virtual classes. I hope you all are fine in studying well at home. Today we are going to continue our study on the same platform. In this video we are going to study mental math. Today in mental math the topic is simplification. For learning about simplification please have a look on it. Now the first is what does simplification mean? Simplification means to convert a question in more easy form. It means when the question is in complex form, we can say in the complicated form and we need to convert it into the simpler one. Now we are going to learn about the methods of simplification. There are two methods of simplification. First, DMAS. And second, board mass. Now in this video, we are going to do D mass. D mass stands for D for division, M for multiplication, A for addition and S for subtraction. It means this method is telling us the sequence to solve the operations when more than two operations are present in one question. It means the first step. It means step 1 is division. Step 2 is multiplication. Step 3 is addition. And step 4 is subtraction. It means we can say that if four operations are together in the same question, first we will do the division, we will divide, then we will multiply, then add and at last we will apply the operation subtract. Now we are going to apply the method D mass in the examples. So the first example is simplify. Question is 24 divided by 3 multiplied by 4 plus 6 minus 8. In this example, we can see that all four operations are present together. So, first we can get, we will apply the rule D mass. That is telling us the sequence to solve the operation. According to D mass, the first step to solve is divide. So, we will find in which part of the question we, we need to divide. We need to divide 24 by 3. So, we will divide it. After dividing 24 by 3, we will get 8. And then rest will be copied as it is. It means there will not any change. Now the next step is multiply. So we will search where we have to perform multiplication. So we can see that we need to multiply 8 by 4. So we will multiply 8 by 4. 8 4 is 32. And the rest will be same. Now in third step, we need to apply addition. So we will add, in this question we need to add 32 plus 6 and after adding it, I have got 38. And then rest will be copied as it is. At last step, we will do subtract. We will subtract. So we can see that here we need to subtract 38 minus 8. So the answer so, the outcome is 30. We can say that the 30 is the answer of this question. But many times we can see that a single question has all four operations. But it can also be possible when we have two or three operations in a same question. To know how to solve these questions, we will do more examples. Now, in these two examples, we can see that there are two or more than two operations together. In example 2, we have three operations together, divide, addition, subtraction. And in example 3, we have two operations together, multiply and subtract. For simplifying these questions also, we will follow the same sequence, D mass. But what will we do in it? We will follow the sequence D mass as it is first. We will check is there a divide in the question or not. In first we can see that we have divide. In 6 
16 divided by 4. So first we will divide. 16 divided by 4 will be 4 and rest will be as it is. Now the next operation is multiply. But we can observe that in this example we are not having multiplication. So we will skip the multiplication and move to addition. Now we can see that there is addition. So we will add 4 plus 2 that is 6 then minus 1. Subtract 1 will be as it is. Now the last operation is subtraction. So you will subtract 6 minus 1 will be 5. So the answer for this question is 5. And now in second example we will check for division. But we can see that there is no divide. So skip division and move to multiplication. Because the second sequence is M that is there is multiplication, multiplication 8 into 9. So 8 nines are 72. Now the rest will be copied down as it is. Later on we will move to the third operation that is addition. Now in this example we can see that the addition is not present. So skip addition and move to subtraction. Now we can see that there is subtraction. So this is the last sequence. Last part that we will do. So 72 minus 3 will be 69. It means the answer for this is 69. Now it's time to get homework. Today's homework is do following worksheet in your mental maths book. First, mental maths 19 in which you have to do question 1, 2, 7 and 8 that you can get on page number 21. And Second, do homework worksheet 14, question 1 to 3, page, that you can get on page number 56. And you have to do this work in book. Now, before winding today's class, I just want to say stay home, stay safe. And please like and subscribe my channel for getting the notification for the latest update as soon as possible. And viewers, Please mention your name, class and section in comment box. Thank you.